for specific gravity of our core surrogates, we follow episode T85. And for episode T85, we'll need our core surrogate basket. We'll need a bolt station because we have to weigh our sample under water. Because for this specification, there will be three things we're looking for. We have to get a dry weight of our sample. We have to get our SSD weight of our sample. And SSD stands for saturated surface dry. And then we also have to get our underwater weight. So our sample size for this test specification is spent on the nominal max of our aggregate. If you look up in T85, there's a chart uh, table in that specification that gives you the nominal max and the weight needed for the nominal max. So we've already got our samples together. Again, this is random force material, so number four and above. Once you get your sample size, you want to wash the dust off, and then you want to soak your sample for 15 to 19 hours. After 15 to 19 hours, we can begin the test. So our sample's been soaking 15 to 19 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this excess water off of it. Now the first weight I'm gonna get for this sample is my SSD weight, which is our saturated surface dry. So to do that, we have to have a damp towel. And in the specification, it says you need a damp towel and they refer to damp as when water cannot be wrung out of the towel. So for this towel, I've already dampened it, but I'm gonna check it to make sure we can get most of the water out of the towel. The reason we do this, or the reason we need a damp towel is because we are determining our SSD weight. Like I said, SSD stands for saturated surface dry. Where our sample is saturated because it's been soaking in water, so I want to determine what our saturated sample is with the surface dry. I don't want to pull the water out of the voids in these aggregate particles, so we do that with a damp towel because a damp towel will just dry off the surface and will not pull the water out. If you use a dry towel, a dry towel could possibly pull the water out of the voids of our aggregate particles. So you just place your sample in your damp towel. And you just pat it dry. And this only takes a couple of minutes. And the way that we determine if our sample is an SSD is when our aggregate particles are not shiny or glossy anymore. You see this particle here, it might be hard to see in the camera, but it is still shiny. So that means it still has a lot of water on the outside of it. So I just paint my damp towel, go back and forth across the sample, just trying to get that surface water off my sample until I determine that my sample is not shiny or not glossy and is at SSD. For the large particles that tend to look, still look shiny, it's okay just to pick them up individually. Just kind of block them off if you would like, if they do not seem to be getting dry. Okay, that's So I'm going to take my bowl that I soak my sample in. And we'll just pour our sample in our bowl to get our SSD weight. So I believe we've got most of our water uh, or most of our surface water off our sample. Our particles are not shiny and glossy looking now, so I believe they are in their SSD condition. So this will be the first weight that we take. Some of the sample has fell out onto the floor. That's okay if you lose a particle or two because you haven't taken a weight yet. With this weight, we want to make sure we don't lose any more of the sample when we're transferring it to the basket and also getting the dry weight. So I'm going to record my SSD weight of my sample.
And now we have our coarse aggregate baskets. This is how we get our underwater weight of our sample. We can just hang it right in our bulk station. And you want to be sure that you zero out this basket because this is what we're using to get our underwater weight. So I zeroed out my basket. I'm adding the sample to the basket, being sure not to lose any of the material. Also for this test, your water bath should be 23 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 1.7 degrees. I know a lot of the testing that we do, typically a water bath is 25 degrees uh, Celsius, but for Ashto T85, it actually states 23 degrees Celsius. So I'm just adding my basket to my water bath. A couple of things you wanna check while your basket's in your water bath is make sure that your basket is not touching the bottom of the water bath or the sides. I like to put my hand in and just gently move it back and forth to make sure nothing's touching it. If this basket is touching the bottom or the sides of your water bath, it's gonna throw your scale off and your weights are gonna be incorrect. A lot of times too, I'll take my basket and just shake it a little bit. Just do it gently and that helps release some of the air bubbles that may be inside the sample. Now, to get your underwater weight, you just want to wait till your scale balances out. There's no set time in the specification. Usually this takes a minute or two until our uh, scale balances out. And then we'll report this weight for our underwater weight. So the scale's balanced out, so I can report my underwater weight. And now we can remove our sample from the basket. And when I was discussing, make sure your handle is under the water. Your basket is hanging like so. You want to make sure this handle here is completely underwater. Your water level should be at least, I would say, at least an inch above that handle. If your water level only comes up to about halfway on your handle, it will give you an incorrect weight. So now we have our SSD weight, we have our underwater weight. We can add our sample back to the bowl. And now I will place it in the oven and that oven should be set at 110 degrees Celsius until uh, our sample dries back to get our dry, dry weight. What we tend to like to do, if you can put your sample in an oven overnight, it will be dry when you come into work the next day.